Ball playing almost a shot. Complete shot over par today. Right. He really tries to stretch and get the hands as far away from the head as possible on his backswing. He's gained about 10 yards through working out swing changes. Now looking to hit the green. It's a long, narrow green, Peter, and I would think he'd be looking at the center of the green. Well, so often they, they chase after the flag in an effort to make it to They like it. They fall. But it's going to hold up just on the collar. I have no idea. Ooh, that's the closest shot we've had all day. It's in the fringe, but still reasonably good shot. Beautiful short chip. Absolutely superb. Just need to hit the center of the green if you can. I know that's not easy to do. It's long part three. And then we got to start hitting some greens, don't we? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was a decent swing, but I think he was just stuck in between clubs there. We've seen play some fantastic shots around the green. It could be only fitting if he knocked one of these in. Leave the scene of the crime just yet. A tricky little putt for a par. Struggles a little bit with the flat stick. That's his uh, his problem, child. He's got a little bit of work left here. One of those kind of putts the players just hate to keep giving themselves. Trying to save Bogey. This is his fourth. So Bogey there. Very interesting par five. Scoring average 4.52. One good straight hit. And that doesn't look too good. You got it. This is a big, big golf hole. Sometimes the hardest hole on the course. Darn near 500 yards. Part four. Peter, this is just pummel. This is no problem. That ball should stay in the fairway. Perfect. That's how you do it right there. A little hook off the middle of the green will be just fine here. That's the way he likes to hit it. That's a three wood. Wow, really? Sorry, three iron. <laughs> three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good shot right there. He's got about uh, eight to ten feet past the hole. He's waiting for the the applause, the raucous applause. He didn't get it, so he doesn't know where he is. 
and uh, I'm going to give him about a 75% chance of making that. Been a little shaky from this distance. Uh, here he goes. And let's go out and join Gary McCord. Oh, we're going to have some fun on this hole today. Good swing there. It looks like he's got a, a lot of hit on the ball. It's not a very good effort there. But he's left himself a lot of work here. From that length that uh, he is he is not really comfortable with. Could be. There we are. Very reachable par five today. You have to drive it in the fairway though. from the tee, but I don't think he's going to like it when he gets there. That isn't in the very long rough. Find the fairway here. Yeah, just trying to get it to about 80 yards from the that whole location and it hits it a little bit fat. with 237 yards going at the green. Mm, the club short. Just couldn't get comfortable. That's the shake of a head of a man who wasn't committed right Co there. Yeah, correct. He's putting nicely, he's struck that beautifully. This is a, a very difficult driving hole. It's a big, big shot. Only three birdies here so far today. With the three wood. What? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Oh, oh no. Oh, and then he gets that. Mr. Fairway with his tee shot. Uh, can, can you get to the green out of this lie? Not sure if we can get to the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> be better. Peter's a bunker. He didn't want to go there. No, which is a pity. I don't know how you get this ball close here. I had no idea. Nice thump. Nice thump. That's a good shot. He'll have it about 15 feet for his par.
I'm watching this up the hill. Very, very solid. All about position here. This is another difficult hole. It. Good pass at that. This is going to go miles. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, this is definitely a team effort when you watch these two go work their shots, Peter. Yeah, well, tends to forget about the caddies and all the work they do. I've always been very fond of caddies. They're all educated, make a lot of money. I've never seen him hit a shot off balance. Sometimes they don't always go straight or where he needs them to go, but it's always perfectly balanced. Right there. Whoa. Par four. One of the most difficult holes on the golf course. Oh, wow. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice swing. He does produce some power. Perfectly positioned. Oh, it's just windy. It's about 62 or 3 degrees. That's not too bad. This ball needs to get down. Very frustrating. Through the back of the green. Well, we hope he can get down in no worse than two from there. He just certainly deserves it. Such is the game. Nothing to be too thrilled about, but it was quite long range. Monster putt, and it's quite an effort to get down in two. Not really thinking about holding it. Not that easy a putt to make. Easy to come up short, and that's what he's done. You think these guys could make it 10, 12% of the time? There's just nothing. Held with a percentage, didn't it? It was a messy bogey at the last. Yeah, Same as the swing at 13, right. yeah. That needs to get down fast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's going to be tough from there. Even getting it on the green will be a good shot. Not a great lie here. He's going to have to chop this out. Well, this is a pretty good line. Right on line with the flying stick. And... Can't tell from here. He's way on the back edge. I think he could hold this four out of ten times. Ooh. It's very straightforward. Good line. Looking at the hole here. Stuff I've seen around the greens. He is really, really good around the greens. Just 
Yes, that's quite a lot of club, I believe. Good to it. They're yelling, get out. You don't get that. If it got just a little hop, it peeled right back to that flag stick. Really been close, but now he's got a delicate chip. I think he could hold this four out of ten times. Ooh. It's very straightforward, good lie. Looking at the hole here. All the way. There's a Jim Dandy around the greens. Par five, and this one is fun, reachable in two. He's always around the top five in driving distance, week after week, event after event. It, uh, it's in miles. Elegant power? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Divine fury. Divine fury. I'm going after the par five and two. He's going with a fairway wood, trying to keep it in play. Yeah, good move. He has got a country mile here. <laughs> From the fringe, too, which always sort of messes with your mind a little bit. Just a sandwich. He likes it. Okay, in the middle of the green. That's very good. Certainly shouldn't be disappointed with that one. That's a wonderful result. Short putt for his birdie four. Yeah, he took a little extra look like he may have been a little bit confused with the read there. 